I would like to invite uh, Dennis uh, Bosenko from MGAD to get, give us uh, his presentation and uh, uh, we will continue from here. Thank you. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Dennis. Uh, I'm from MJID. We are a leading native advertising network that delivers optimum results to publishers, advertisers, and consumers. Uh, our company performance-based terms ensure publishers a steady stream of revenues through native placements and sponsored messages in an undisruptive environment. Uh, MJID serves placement optimized sponsored content uh, to target it and engage audience through its network to ensure advertisers maximum return on advertising spend and publishers to get the maximum their inventory monetization. Uh, we deliver maximum benefits to the four participants in the market, to publishers, to advertisers, to brands, and to consumers. Today, everyone knows what native ads are. Content recommendation widget has gained steady recognition on the market and it's hardly to find anyone who is not familiar with this type of ad unit. The same could be said about video ads as well. But what happens when you merge these two formats together? One of the biggest struggles of website monetization uh, is that only 8% of internet users account for 85% of all clicks, according to Comscore. Uh, this effect is called banner blindness. It's not new, but it's still the case to all display ad units, and native is no exception. The solution is a more, is a more complex hybrid monetization approach, identifying users who don't click on static ads and presenting them with video units, which only require to be viewed in order to generate a payout. If we know that a particular user is not likely to click on ads, why we should burn the impression? We can present them with video ads instead. Um, the key challenge is to identify those 85% of users who don't click on static ads and show them video ads. Many publishers have attempted to address the issue by simply adding two separate ad models, static and video. But what about user experience? ad density compliance, site real estate, and weights of the pages. In addition, this doesn't increase each unit effectiveness. A better way is to identify a user and based on a historical record show them appropriate ad format within one unified ad unit. At MJID, we have successfully merged video and static into a single placement, allowing for a much, much more hybrid monetization option. The native ad block is showing static ads by default. It's usually placed under article. If we detect that a particular user, based on our historical data, is someone who never clicked on ads, we switch to video. All within the same native unit. No need to saturate pages with additional ad codes, ruin user experience, or sacrifice real estate. The effort of combined monetization format is definitely not new. What's new is the ability to accomplish it within a single ad model. Smart audience differentiation and appropriate monetization formats are the key and the uniqueness of our product. We have gathered significant amount of data during uh, our, UL, our real use cases and uh, we have limited market release across 31 publishers and we have some results how all that works. Results are really quantifiable. Our publishers tend to see 20 high percentage CPM increase if comparing to only a single static placement. Uh, a couple of case studies that we have. Publisher A had loyal and stable audience and wanted to increase revenue from his existing native placements. Our hybrid unit delivered 40 percentage higher CPM compared to a previous all static placements. Publisher B is a political and general news site. One of the most crucial metric was page load time. Consolidating static and video to a single ad tag resulted in 90% decrease in load time and 20% increase in revenue versus placing two formats separately, native and video. Although we are only at the beginning of this method, it's clear that hybrid format is the future of more effective traffic monetization. 
We would be happy to answer all your questions if you have. Thank you.